So we're starting off with Jordan Brooks, man. 79 speed. First and foremost, Jordan Brooks is way faster than 79 speed, but we'll start there, you know? 83 tackling, 83 block shed, 78 hit power. If I'm not mistaken, Jordan Brooks was an outside linebacker, but hey, you feel me? There's no way he's slower than, there's no way he's 79 speed. He's not a slow linebacker, but nothing really crazy here. Zone coverage is really low for a middle linebacker. Strength is also extremely low at 66, right? Moving on, we got Jawan Bentley with 80 speed. Poor leads always are so balanced, and I don't believe they should be. I believe that core elite should be their strong points are their highest attributes. So kind of like Ultimate Legends, when Ultimate Legends came out, like the lower 87 overall Ultimate Legends, some of them had like super fast speed, but the rest of their stats were terrible. This card right here, it's decent. 60 zone coverage though. Like, are we saying that middle linebackers are not gonna be able to play any type of coverage? I don't know. 60 is low. 60 is D lineman type of zone coverage, by the way. I don't know i mean curious to see what's gonna happen but 75 strength 80 speed 80 acceleration 83 tackling moving on we got eric kendricks the disrespect to eric kendricks eric kendricks is a dog and they got him at a core elite 83 overall you feel me i mean you know i know it's, it's ea you feel me everything get upgraded but we have Eric Kendricks with 78 zone coverage. So very interesting that he has 78 because now we're starting to see, okay, linebackers do have zone coverage, but the big difference is that this man has 60. There's no way he's playing any type of zone coverage. Also, same thing with Jordan Brooks. No way, right? But I'm going to assume because of the archetype, Eric Kendricks is a field general, that they're, you know, trying to lean heavy into field general archetypes are going to be actually balance as far as playing the run playing the pass you feel me because he does have a 77 block shed with the 82 play rec and an 81 tackling which these guys have you know 83 block shed 76 play rec and 83 tackling and i just think that he'll be very balanced 65 strength is very interesting i don't know why these guys seem so weak moving on we have devin white at 83 speed the disrespect on speed is crazy i would definitely consider devin white to have an 85 speed even at an 83 overall because he's a fast guy like he's a lot I, I get what they're saying like he's a lot faster than jordan brooks he's i don't even know him and jordan brooks could be potentially the same speed but he's a lot faster than Jawan bentley he's a lot faster than uh, eric kendricks but that 83 speed is not good enough. I would like to see 85 at least on a Devin White card, especially because that's like his strong suit. You know, 78 zone, he is a field general. Also, low, low, low strength. Wonder if strength is gonna play a part because this is almost like strong safety DB type of strength. I don't know, maybe the DBs are a lot weaker now. Who knows, right? So then we have Denzel Perriman. Now off the rip, Denzel Perriman has 83 speed. So you're telling me Denzel Perriman and Devin White is on the same speed scale. I don't know, man. 84 acceleration. What was Devin White acceleration? Oh my God. It made Denzel Perriman better than Devin White off the rip. Even as far as playing a run, he's going to be a lot better. I mean, block shed is very similar. 77, 79. Play rec is 81, 80. Tackling Denzel Perriman has a little bit more or well, a lot more strength. He has more strength and more acceleration, but no zone coverage. So the no zone coverage is very interesting as we move on to Levante David. 82 speed, would have liked to see that at like 83, 84. 84 acceleration, very low strength once again, and zone coverage is very low. I would have had him with very high zone coverage, maybe in the 78s, because he is a very good zone coverage linebacker. He does a lot of good things in coverage, whether it's man or zone. But 80 block shed, 83 play rec, and 83 tackling. I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious to see how uh, uh, middle linebackers are going to play this year. Maybe it's something that we don't know about middle linebackers, and that strength is not a big deal. But from what it looked like, this is very low. 66 strength is very low, right? Moving on, Bobby Wagner with 69 strength. The disrespect is real he has the threshold of 75 zone okay 82 hit power 82 block shit i'm gonna assume that's a good threshold right the 83 speed for 85 overall is assuming that he's very slow and the strength is just assuming that he just doesn't get busy in the box which that's not the truth but you know this is mutt you feel me these cars will get upgraded as we go and then we got 86 overall demario davis 83 speed 86 acceleration 79 strength demario davis has more strength than bobby wagner
80 zone coverage. I, I respect his own coverage. I can respect that. Everything else is pretty okay for an 86 overall. He doesn't really look like an 86 overall, so I'm very curious to see what's getting him up there. Maybe it's his man coverage. He might have high man coverage because for this to be an 86 overall, he, he really looks more or less like an 84, in my opinion. And maybe the acceleration is really carrying him, but you know, it's not nothing crazy, right? So then we got Devondre, Devondre Campbell. 87 overall with 84 speed, 84 acceleration. For an 87 overall, 84 speed is slow. You know, like it's very slow, but at the same time, it's fast because it's a middle linebacker. Jalen Ramsey, I think is an 86 speed. He's an 88 overall. So putting this man at an 86 will be extremely high, but he does have some good tackling stats. He does have good play rec, decent block shed, low, not decent hit power and decent zone coverage. Maybe his man coverage is about 75, 77. And that's what's boosting him up to an 87. Moving on, man, we have the number one for elite at 87 overall, 86 speed, 85 acceleration, 65 strength, 85 tackling, 89 play rec, 83 block shed, 75 hit power, and 79 zone. Coverage. Very solid card. Fred Warner is faster than Tredavious White, you know? So like, that's interesting right there. I, I definitely think they need to figure out a threshold. Middle linebackers would have a cap speed, you know, like a cap speed of maybe, hypothetically speaking, like a 92, right? Which means that all middle linebackers would be hovering around early game 77 to about 79 speed, all of them. DBs have a max speed of 99. Wide receivers, 99. Skill position players have a max speed of 99, where like in the box interior guys would probably have a max speed of like, 87 or something like you know 88 i think if you could find a balance with that it would make the game a lot more smoother because when you have a guy like fred warner he's not gonna be easy to get i'm not i, I understand that but he's coming into the game with 86 speed which is the max speed by the way as far as core elite so far 86 has been the max speed so with that being said is fred warner 87 overall is going to be just as fast as 88 overall Jalen ramsey that's why i'm saying there needs to be some type of threshold or position groups. It would make more sense, and I could understand the fact that you would make a guy like Jordan Brooks at an 82 overall. I can understand how you can make this man 79 speed, but I can't understand when this man, when this man ran a 4-5-4. Fred Warner ran a 4-6-4. You feel me? And I get Fred Warner's a higher overall, but we could also look at somebody like Devin White. Devin White ran a 4-4-2 with 83 speed. Denzel Perriman ran a 4-7-8. 83 speed at an 84 overall. This guy ran a 4-4-2. 83 speed. I don't know, EA. It's weird, bro. It's just weird. This is it's just weird, you know? That's why I feel like there needs to be some type of thresholds. But what you guys think about, you know, the middle linebackers? We do have some more stuff coming out today. You know, I like the fact that Denzel Perriman is in here. I like the fact that the Jawan Bentley is in here as a core lead. Jordan Brooks is a core lead because it's different players from last year. You know what I'm saying? So it gives you a different vibe right off the rip. 